Okay, so you watched the fruit rot, yes. So you're saying that you didn't notice that there's been activity here? We have, but you realize you've got like PVC sticking out the back of your truck from where? That's not garbage, bro. Okay, Thank you. Okay. All right. No Thank I don't want to Thank touch you, bro. Thank you for. No, I'm. You're good. Okay. Okay. No worries. I thought it was trash. Okay. That's all. And so you're you're telling me though you didn't I you didn't take none of the wood. I walked this house before, like when it was open, when it, after it got foreclosed. Yep. And they said, oh, we don't know what we're doing, you know. Um, and I grabbed a couple of the plumerias that were um that were does or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. I am. That's it. All of it, bro. What? The... Yep. None of it's yours. No, that, did you find it there? Was that where you found it? No, it was over in the other side. So that's where you put it back. I'm trying to fucking get it out. All right. Die. What? The tree's die. Yeah, I know. You don't think that we were going to replace it? doesn't matter. It's not yours. It's, your it's not. Yes, I own this property. Oh, and technically, I'm sorry. I'm technically sorry. you have stolen from me. So I could have the cops come here, but I haven't done that yet. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to. Okay. Like, I, yes. And then also I come back here and there's wood missing, like there's shit disturbed. So maybe that wasn't you, but you have to understand, understand. now I find you here, it looks like it was you. I get, I get, I understand. Okay. It wasn't. It wasn't. I, I we, swear to God. We just like to restore and repopulate stuff like you know, that. Yeah. You know? Okay. I, I used to work in a nursery it's, and... You know, when people tear this shit down, it's it like, sucks. It breaks my heart. And we were going to replant it. It okay. sucks, man. It was, I know. It was in that fucking pile over there with the roots and shit. Okay. And go go put them back. Okay. No problem. Yeah, no, no worries. It's just no problem at all. How much is the paper? Please like step back away from oh. the vehicle. No worries. I'm sorry. Because I'll tell you the truth. I'm having a real hard time being nice to you guys might look like I'm nice but I'm about ready to not be because okay. you're on private property yeah, and you're stealing from me we had no idea that this was how do you not have an idea do you see that sign right there okay so you see that sign do you see like work that's been done on the property like things have changed it's kind of obvious that there's someone here because see when the bank when I talk to the real estate lady when I talk to the real estate lady she's like you know, we're probably gonna remodel it at some point, you know, and because I asked her about some of the landscape stuff, like if they're gonna do something with it. She's like, well, you know, I don't know when the time frame is. This was like a year and a half ago. And she's like, you know, if there's something that, if we end up dozing some of it or something that looks like it's torn out, you know, and it's gonna be in the rubbish. Who, who was it you talked to then? I don't remember what the lady's okay. name was. It was a year and a half ago or something like that. Okay. It was right after, I think it was right after when foreclosure. Or it was in transition. It does, you know, so. Sorry we didn't pay attention. It, looks, it does look like it, yeah. I see it. Please, please step back Sorry. for a moment so I can get out of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. So what was your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Alright, so there's nothing else in your car that was from this property? Mm -hmm. that, to your knowledge? No, just a couple little. That's fine. Okay. And this is the first time you've came here and taken I, something? Yeah, this is the first. I just saw the mango tree, like, all the shit on the ground when they drove by. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, those are fucking look ripe. They're fucking, it's just falling to the ground. 
Yeah. So I'm just a little, uh, I don't know. I'm having a hard time just being like, oh, okay, see you guys. And I mean, I'll be honest with you, Gabriel. I think that you know you're wrong. I think that I know I, I knew wrong in a sense. Okay, but, but listen, I wait though, wait. Okay. I think that you knew you were wrong when you did it. That's the difference. In other words, I don't think you thought, oh, hey, here's some mangoes and here's some shit. I can do this. This is okay. I thought you thought there's no one here. No, I'm gonna sneak in that, here so and I'm gonna do thought. this. That's not what I thought. That's not. No, that's not the, what I thought. I saw the fruit and. The plumeria, I, I didn't even notice that when I drove by. Mm -hmm. and I picked those because the fuck, it's in, you know, it looks like it was fucking ripped apart. Yeah. You know, so. And what was your name? Elena. Elena and Gabriel. What's your last name, Gabriel? Planchette. You making that up? No. <laughs> no. no. Planchette? No. Yes. French. Is this your car? Yep. I don't know. I would make it up if I just got caught stealing from somebody's property and they were confronting me with. You know what? Like, what are they gonna put me in jail for a fucking couple mangoes in Samaria? I mean, come probably on. not. But here's the other. I mean, I don't have to be so nice. So next time you do this to somebody, what if they just shoot you, Gabriel? That'd be shitty. Yeah, but you're stealing from them on their land, so they have every right to do that, don't you think? It does, but you just admitted. Oh yeah, it actually does. Because now you see, there's a clear sign. There's clearly things going on. I didn't see anything. Yeah. You know. Okay, so then why? Okay, but how about this, Gabriel? Why would there be? Why would someone come and bulldoze this randomly? Don't you think someone would have to order that work to be done? I understand that was ordered. So then, who would order it? Yes. Okay. All right. I get that. Nursery. I know. I like we used to. I understand that. What I'm trying to do is get you to see that you're wrong, and I then mean, I, I want... Do, I do see that. Okay. I, I see that. I understand that I crossed the boundary. Okay? But you're saying you didn't know it was a boundary when you no, crossed it. No, I understand. I understand your point. I told you. No, I do. I do understand that. Okay? So... Okay, so... There's no harm intended. It wasn't... To, I wasn't trying to be sneaky or anything. You know? I would have talked to whoever showed up and said, hey... I saw this in the rubbish pile. But look, if that's the case, right? Uh -huh. Would if it, if I was you and I wanted some plumeria and some PVC or whatever the fuck you took, I would wait until somebody was here and I'd go introduce myself. Oh hey, it looks like I, you're I, I've here. I've done that on many fucking places, and every time I drive by here, and I didn't ever even notice the mango, and that was like you know. Okay, but do you hear what I'm I, saying? I what if saying. there's no one here, yes, you shouldn't come here, right? And then here's the second thing. There is a sign over here that literally says you'll be shot on sight. I didn't see that. You didn't see it. Well, you know the different. You know the difference between the person that sees it and gets shot and the person that doesn't see it and gets shot. Exactly. There are. Yes, there are. Come here, Elena. Okay. You came in through that way. Yeah. I so you didn't see the sign. No, we, went, we came through that way. We okay. picked up the mangoes and then we were like, well, let's go see the dragon fruit. I am from Alaska. I don't know. I've never tasted dragon fruit. So. Well, if you guys would have came and introduced yourself, I would have given well, you we some. We would have. Oh, shit. I don't pay attention to that. So. Well, okay. By the way, you know. I am a finished carpenter if you ever need a hand. Well, that could have happened too, Gabriel. I wish that I would have met you in different circumstances, man. Yeah. I wish it wouldn't have been, you know. You know what? Sometimes something has to happen. And I, when my brother died and I found him dead, out of that chaos became blessing. Because some good shit came out of that. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a totally different example, but I just want to put that out there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's like, you know, to call the cops or to not call the cops, right? That's the question. Well, Gabriel and Elena. I should have called the cops. 
probably definitely should have called the cops not gonna lie we don't have any service here so even if we wanted to it wouldn't have went through it just seems so damn obvious that <laughs> that it's not okay to do that so obviously he knew what he was doing maybe i shouldn't have let him go before completely checking the house but you know i was here last night and literally changed some shit around so it's pretty damn obvious that people are here right and so homeboy says he didn't steal the lumber you know what i hope he's lying because if he's not that means that there's some other fucking rats coming around man did you see her arm i don't know if i got her on film at all but like oh my god she her whole arm is abscess bleeding pus like come back and stash some dope under there bro you come back and stash something out there you fucking find out dude like he ain't coming back he ain't coming back i mean i was just so taken aback that i i was you know sure but no no i don't want none of your fucking fentanyl lace weed like life in the hove y'all Woo! ain't a dull damn day here damn cam follow like subscribe diddly diddly do and uh yeah we're vlogging all day crazy crazy damn like this happens we got killer dogs we got dog killers we got random bodies being found here like this is the hawaiian hood for real they call it the wild west somewhat the sacred south and uh man i almost it's almost a different story today but you know what next right indicated thing and it didn't seem like it would be right for us to teach him any more of a lesson than putting him on blast will so we put you on blast the first time and the second time something will blast <laughs> You're about to see some So ultimately, no, we were not going to call the police. In fact, we did not call the police, even though the police are here. Yes. So basically, what are the odds that we decide not to call the police and then we literally are leaving the property and the single car that's passing us right in front of the property is a police car kind of like the universe was telling us to file a report at least that's what we think so we're waiting for the email address we did make the report it's like you know it's petty petty crimes but um what's to stop him from from coming back what's to say he hasn't already came and stole that lumber it's like yeah so any damn way Yep, we're on break. Didn't get a whole lot done so far, honestly. Been a little preoccupied. So strange. We're like, you know, and watching this back, right? We just watched it back. We're doing the just a real brief little edit. You know, essentially all that is, is unedited, unfiltered. I mean, we're just uh, adding a couple things, a couple different clips. This is one of them. Um, yeah, what? We watch it back. Like we we literally ended the the main video, the confrontation. We're like, didn't seem like the next right indicated thing to call the cops, and then we're leaving, and it's like, okay, I guess the next right indicated thing can change uh, at any moment. What's what's right might not change, but what's indicated does, and you might not realize something is right or wrong if it wasn't indicated to you at first, or you know what the damn ever 
yeah, we had to overcome a few things uh, personally to deal with the boys in blue. And that's for another story. Recovery is discovery, is recovery here at Damn Talk. D A A M N. Come say what up. Locals.com. That damn talk spot. Locals.com. Especially if you're here in the Hove. We want to uh, talk story about this community, what is the largest subdivision in the entire country. So, get at us. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, ah, man.